So CrossMed, we're a healthcare staffing firm out of Omaha, Nebraska. We have been in business almost three years. Um, we started just me as a little team of one, and now we've grown to um, a team of almost 50. The healthcare staffing world is very active here in the U.S., and we definitely needed to streamline our process with our business as large as we've gotten with multiple clients and many, many travel nurses, and it's been great. So um, Bridget and the team use Awesome Docs specifically for creating packets or submission packets to work with healthcare facilities and vendors, and I think quite often you're submitting these to the VMS portals as well. So what I'd like to understand is your processors before using Awesome Docs. Sure. So when submitting a nurse to a hospital for a job, it requires a cover sheet that's hospital specific with a lot of their personal information, their resume, their skills checklist, their certifications, typically between a 40 and 50 page document. We would house oh. these items in Bullhorn. If the process wasn't easy, the recruiters would find a better way and it wasn't efficient and a lot of documents would be missing from Bullhorn. So if someone had to step in, we would say, oh gosh, you know, we don't have half of their packet because it's on someone's desktop. With Awesome Docs, we were able to get really granular within Bullhorn as to the facility requirements. And so if submitting a nurse to a specific facility, Awesome Docs knows to pull the cover sheet from that facility, to pull the documents from the nurse's page, their files within Bullhorn and piece it together in a really pretty PDF that holds all 40 to 50 pages. You mentioned about 40 to, to 50 documents and mm -hmm. prior to having awesome docs, was your team labeling all these documents correctly and storing them in the correct places to, to help make the process easier or was that also part of the challenge? Yes, part of the challenge prior to bringing awesome docs on board, I sat down and did a case study as to how difficult it would be to go into someone's candidate page and pull the documents that I need. It took me about 27 minutes to compile all of the documents, convert them to PDFs, because a lot of things are saved as an Excel file or a JPEG. And so you'd have to convert everything, piece it together. And there just wasn't a good process to save it somewhere outside of your desktop or a file on your computer. So it was very messy. And thankfully we brought your product on board. The cover sheets, just to touch on that too, there's a lot of information that has to be filled out. All of that can populate right from Bullhorn. So if we have a specific field, say their name, the city in which they live, their driver's license, all of that can populate from Bullhorn. When building the document, we have the cover sheet, then you go into the candidate page and Awesome Docs <laughs> says, okay, this candidate is submitted to these three jobs. So pick which job you want to build the document from. It then creates the document specific to that facility, pulls what is necessary, and then below that, it will now populate another area. Like you wanna grab their CV. The CV, it will give you a couple options. When you, it will give you every CV because a lot of these travel nurses take new contracts, you know, some three to four different contracts a year. It will pull the most recent resume or it will give you the option to choose whichever one you would like, but it goes in chronological order. It will then go to the next field, pulling their skills checklist, then all of their certifications, then their references, which are, are all somewhere in the system. Some of these nurses have over 400 files because we've just collected a lot from them over the years. And the automation is incredible that it just knows where to find it, how to pull it. Then you click create, it takes maybe 30 seconds for it to build it. And then it puts it together in a nice submission PDF. It also saves that document into their files. So if someone needs to submit to another facility, they could simply grab that if they needed to or grab their specific cover sheet to create their own. And do you feel like with bringing this product on, it's helped to emphasize the need and requirement to ensure that the data is entered in Bullhorn correctly in, in the field, specifically for your, your resumes and, and everything else, but then also actually labeling files correctly and putting them in the right place? Mm -hmm. Yes. So since bringing on Awesome Docs, we have, you know, brought in six more team members. This is now the only way that they have known how to do their business. We're seeing many more submissions, many more placements from the six new team members than some of our vets. So it's like, oh my gosh, just oh, wow. streamlining the process has created a lot of business for us. That's how long does it take your new team members to create these in comparison to the, the previous process? 
were roughly about three minutes, minutes depending on how savvy they are, but yeah, it's way quicker. That's great. And for everyone watching and listening, we've got the process lined out here on the screen. So on the left hand side in the, in the first image is showing you what the doc merge packet looks like when it loads up and the different sections that we're able to pull through from different areas and bullhorn is, but also as part of that, as, as well as being able to pull documents from areas, there's also the ability to create brand new documents as part of the process. So that's what we've got here in the middle where it's showing you a brand new document you've created, but you also have the option to review it and edit it you know, within Word, but while still being connected to bullhorn. And then you, you press the big green button, which I'm, I'm sure Bridget's pressed plenty of times now to create the document and then saves it straight back to bullhorn.